so in this lecture i'm going to explain what are the primary constants of transmission lines okay so let us let us say this is a parallel transmission line okay let us say this is a parallel transmission line and let us assume the wire is basically a wire it is separated into small parts okay so because i need to find out the primary con constant what we need to do because i need to neglect because i explained you the transit effect right to neglect transit effect we need to we need to consider a small piece of wire okay so let us see let us say this is delta x now delta x tends to zero because it is a very small piece of wire now what does this delta x contains okay so this delta x must contain because see it is a small piece of wire so what will happen it will have some inductance definitely there will be an inductance okay and there will be a there will be a resistance as well okay and if there is a resistance then there will be a capacitance okay and and because if it's a capacitance there then there will be because it's a small piece of wire there will be some leakage conductance there will be some charges which will be leaking so you can see this will be this can be a conductance so let us see let us say this one is inductance this one is resistance capacitance and conductance conductance occurs due to the charge leakage okay so any wire any wire will have definitely a obviously any wire will have a resistance and inductance okay you all know that and if it is a because it is acting as a because if we are considering a small piece like this this is a small piece that means it basically a two metal plates okay and it's a perfect capacitor okay two two parallel plate capacitor so there is a capacitor and there will be a charge leakage that means it a conductance so there are basically what are the what are the constants of the transmission line it is l r g and c l is inductance r is resistance g is conductance and c is capacitance now what will be the units you all know the units inductance is henry resistance is ohm capacitance is c sorry 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 conductance is conductance is mo this is mo reverse of ohms okay and capacitance is c i'm just writing this is mo reverse of ohms you all know what is conductance okay now these are the units but we are considering a piece of wire from the total wire so we will do henry per meter ohm per meter mo per meter and capacitance per meter so you need to remember these all four constants these are the primary constants of the transmission 